get grabbed, Ashley. I swear to God, I will leave you behind. Thank you. Good job. Come on, come on, quick. Aim, bro. Oh, my goodness. Can you... F Eight minutes and five seconds. Beautiful. Welcome to my RE4 remake, Professional S Plus Guide. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to beat Chapter 5 in eight minutes and five seconds. And that's without the turd skip. Make sure to like the video if you learned something new, and subscribe if you want to see more chapter guides on RE4 Remake. I hope this video helps you on your journey to S+. Looks like we've arrived in Chapter 5 of the S Plus Guide. As soon as you begin, you want to go to the left, help Ashley get upstairs so she can push down the ladder for you. Okay. And unfortunately, the church skip is no longer available as of the last patch, so you're going to have to deal with Ashley during the remainder of this chapter. As soon as you get upstairs, there'll be three crates to the right. After grabbing the goodies, exit through the rear window. As soon as you jump out the window, there will be a flashbang here on this crate if you didn't grab it from earlier. As well as a treasure chest and a resource on that ladder. When approaching the front of the church, I assassinate the Ganado to the left. At the graveyard gate, there's always going to be a Ganado there waiting for you in your path. I shoot his feet from underneath him and continue running through the right side of the graveyard. The Ganado placement here is somewhat randomized, so sometimes there'll be enemies in your path and sometimes there won't. So your best bet is just to hold your shotgun in your hand and shoot their feet from underneath. After leaving the church grounds, you'll eventually reach the town hall again. There will be two crates to the right and a merchant to the left. For the most part, I bypass them, but if I need to, I'll interact. It's just like I said in previous videos though, make sure to minimize the amount of time spent in any menus. That includes the merchant, since any time spent in the merchant or the case counts towards in-game time. Once outside the town hall, I don't go left since if that guy now sees you, he will alert the rest of the village. Instead, I go into the well to the right. Before you drop into it, there will be a crate and a green herb if you didn't grab it in previous chapters. When you drop down to the well, there will be another ganado in your path. Make sure to stealth kill him to avoid alerting the rest. When I exit the well from the other side, I continue walking up the path ahead, making sure not to get spotted by any enemies. Once I reach the top of the path, I look for this woman right here. I watch for her to start walking in between the two cabins ahead. I also keep an eye out for the brute that goes up and down the middle of the village square. Once I see her walking in between the cabins, I try to follow closely behind, making sure I take a wide left to avoid being detected by the brute. As I approach the ganado, I assassinate her. If executed correctly, I will not be spotted by the brute, and I will be able to reach the farm with little resistance. Continue running, make sure Ashley gets close to you. From here, it's just straight running. Dispatch any ganados in your path. The farm is slightly different from the previous area, as you don't have to worry about alerting every ganado when detected. I usually take out the two ganados to the right and wait for the brute to show himself. Once he does, I take him out with a sniper. If done this way, the area will be oblivious to your presence, allowing you to get to the cabin with no problem. Now that you're at the cabin siege, it's important to understand the phases. In the first phase, you're tasked with boarding up the windows on the ground floor. The first plank is on the table to the right. I use this plank on the window at the bottom of the staircase. After that, the next two planks are dropped after dispatching seven ganados. If I have a good amount of sniper ammo, I take out the ganados before they enter the cabin. Shortly after the windows are boarded up, the villagers will start using the ladders to attack from the second floor. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this next phase is timed or it's on a kill count. But after a period of time, a brute will appear. I make sure to save some sniper ammo so I could take him out. After you dispatch the brute, Ashley will call to you and the chapter. And that's the chapter 5 walkthrough. Unfortunately, the church skip is no longer available to the wider audience, so this chapter is going to be a lot longer than it would have been. But with this guide, you should still be able to complete it in a relatively quick fashion. I hope you learned something new. Now, let's get to the run through. Thanks. <laughs> 
I didn't grab all the stuff up there. Fuck. Like I said, it's dangerous. Stay close. Good job, Ashley. You didn't get grabbed. What a miracle. A Christmas miracle. I have some new good welcome. Yes, you do. I got something new for you. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. Try that on for size. Pleasant trap. Uh, some parts to it. But I think hey, can we take a break? Sorry, no we need breaks to here, no me. breaks. Got it. Hunnigan was right about the weather. Excuse me. Nice. It actually works. Okay, you can run through the barn. works. I didn't hit it there. Shots are dead, baby. Good job. Oh, pretty smooth. A lot better than last time.
fuck away from the damn window, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, quick. Aim, bro. Oh my goodness. Can you fucking aim? Oh my god. This is fine. So many grades. Oof. Nice. Let's go, baby. Let's get the hell out of here. Ashley, hurry up. Oh, I was about to be so heated, bro. Let's see. We got eight minutes and five seconds. Beautiful. Although it could have been a little cleaner. Unfortunately, with, our, with Ashley, there is quite a bit of RNG. As well as the cabin section there, if you let it go out and get out of hand, it can get pretty hectic. But overall, I think it was a great run. If you learned something new, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more chapter guides on Resident Evil 4 Remake. Until next time, my friends and family, peace.